Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another photography video. Today we have a very controversial topic. We want to talk about film photography. So why is it so controversial? Because there's still a dispute between film and digital photography. It's like Republicans versus Democrats. No, no, it's a bad comparison. I'm sorry. Anyways, um, yeah, well, actually I'm not too wrong. One is more conservative and one is more uh, progressive, I guess. This is a Nikon F. Um, I used to shoot with these cameras back in the day. Uh, in maybe, yeah, it's been 20 years, almost 20 years ago. Uh, in more than 20 years. In 1995, I started using this camera. My dad gave me this camera, and it, this camera has a lot of history because uh, apparently my dad bought this camera off from an American journalist um, uh, during the Vietnam War, and uh, back then it was like brand new and very expensive. Can you imagine how expensive that was back in the days in Vietnam? Like, God. This, mu this must have cost like, I don't know, like two days money, maybe like $20,000 or something like that. And um, yeah, my my dad used to, uh, he bought this camera, I don't know how he got this like from the American guy. <laughs> he used this camera for like a, a family photos or in general just taking photos. And uh, I'll show you a few, a few photos here the camera used for. So all organic film camera photos, very cool. Now I have it. I inherited this product. Yeah, during uh, the time when I shot film, I shot uh, black and white. and uh, call film photos uh, and develop like uh, all the films in that dark room and it was really fun. Seeing like all those large prints <coughs> coming out, like uh, maybe a what is that? Gosh, I don't remember. It was like this size. Maybe it was a a one or something like this. Like this size, like black and white. It was like crisp, uh, like a very uh, sharp contrast. It was beautiful. Uh, I'm showing you some pictures here. Um, these are like really shitty, shittily uh, scanned actually, that's why I call these like not so good, but um, when you see the actual product, uh, it's amazing. After 2000, I stopped for a while, I took a hiatus from 2000 to 2005 or 6 when I discovered a digital camera. And when I saw the quality of the digital camera, I was really impressed by it quality that it was so good before in it was like when the first uh, digital camera came out I don't know when it was but the ones I saw in year what 1999 that was pretty shitty it was like what a 4 megapixel or less camera I mean by that time it was like when the first time I saw it I, I think it was uh, in in 1999 I saw somebody like shooting uh, some pictures with it. I saw 
some images of it and by that time I didn't even know what it was like it was so weird to see like somebody taking pictures with a digital camera it's like what is that when you're coming from like traditional cameras I was like what the hell is this you taking pictures and it's like digital like no way like that's weird so for the longest time I just ignored like like technology but in 2006 I picked up again and since then I never stopped from that Now, why is it so controversial? Because film is in the past and I still see a lot of people using film and arguing like this is a more superior quality and what, what have you. But um, uh, it's, it's always a heated topic and um, for me, uh, since I uh, primarily use photography for work, I would say film photography is very counterproductive and uh, it's it's useless for me. Uh, it's somewhat inefficient. Like uh, I mean, you, it's it's all cool if you use it for fun and uh, shoot for lifestyle and just if you want to get to know the process of uh, processing in a dark room and stuff. That's all cool. You can do all this, but I'm just saying like for my work, it's. Kind of useless, and I wouldn't do this unless a client pays me a lot of money for shooting and film. Uh, you 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 can debate about like if if you can learn more from uh, film photography uh, faster from uh, film photography or from digital photography, but I would it, it really depends on your background. But the amount of like you 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 would probably have to wait. Like for the next day or like in a few hours until your film gets developed. Where it's like, okay, I'm I use a manual mode on digital, digital camera, then dial like different aperture and check, and see instantly the picture. And from that, I can learn already like what it does to me. But for film, you would probably have to wait a few hours or like a day to see the outcome. And by that time, you already forget like what. Uh, parameters you use to shoot that photo so you can argue about this uh, whichever way is faster one photographies um, I think uh, in general like you, you can't really uh, argue about this that digital camera is so much more efficient you know and because I've used nowadays uh, uh, photography only for work so it's a no-brainer that I would use only digital camera. Anyways, don't get me wrong with this, um, because back in the days when we uh, uh, when we shoot film, uh, it was very fascinating, you know, to see the work, uh, you know, taking the film roll out of your camera and develop it, and then. Uh, processing it in a dark room and it was very fascinating very fun process you know and it's it's somewhat a magical process you know in a dark room which has been replaced with like Photoshop So here's my final thought. So I think film cameras are very good uh, for people who want to learn the traditional way to process photos and stuff. Uh, but for commercial use, uh, y you want to use digital camera because it's just more efficient. Uh, and 
also for those who never use uh, film cameras, uh, I think it's a good idea to understand where uh, film comes from. Uh, I think it's important and very fun too. Uh, but for me, uh, for my work and stuff, uh, I wouldn't use it. But that's it. Um, thank you for watching guys uh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I really appreciate this. I try to make more videos in the future, more videos. And if you have any comments, uh, please uh, comment below the video. And uh, that's it. Adios, guys.